Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's 1964 and Bob is facing the Karokan again. And we'll see how the wheels as well as the bumper falls off. So let me bring up the video. So we've got Bobby and we've got the Karo. So without any further ado, Bobby opens with E4. We get C6, the Karo Khan defense. We get Knight F3 and D5. So here Bobby decides to play the two knights attack against the Karo. We get uh, bishop to g4, so pinning the knight against the queen. Bobby asks the bishop what it wants to do. We get takes and takes. Then we get this very ugly blunder from Gary Book out. I think he was out of book here, which is knight to d7. Because what this does, it basically just hangs a pawn in the center. And I mean, it's a central pawn. Engine just wanted you to push your pawn. So Bobby goes, takes. Gary develops his other knight. Bobby just takes again and we got a small little fork just to win back the pawn get moves and takes and now it's a bobby's turn to bring out a pin so players go g6 we get castles bishop g7 and a rook to d1 so aligning with the queen we get castles takes and takes and we'll see how Bobby is playing against this isolated pawn. So we can see White's got two pawn islands, three pawn islands. So anyway, we get d4 from Bobby. And Gary plays a, a nice little move here, opening a discovery against the pawn. So we've got a two on one. Bobby just goes and defends and we get e6. So in the game, Bobby just solidifies the center. We then get queen to c7. Knight e4, so heading for the blockade in the game, we get uh, the rook coming in, aligning with the queen, c3 from Bobby, so just making sure that the center is nicely defended. We then get knight to f4, hitting the queen, Bobby just moves the queen, and then knight to d5, so hitting the bishop as well as the pawn, Bobby says uh, to hell with that, and plays b4 we get a6 bobby expands on the queen side with a4 we then get uh, queen to b7 so this is just a slight little mistake because it runs into knight c5 hitting the queen queen moves again so it basically wasted a move we then get knight to b3 bishop to f8 and then the players just bring the rooks to the center of the board bobby then reroutes the knight again Back to the center, we get knight to c7 from Gary, and this is actually a blunder. The engine just wanted him to take because this now allows Bobby to go hit the rook. Gary then goes rook to d5, putting pressure on the bishop. Then we get this nice little knight to e4 from Bobby. So defending the bishop as well as threatening a fork uh, with a king and rook. So... Gary defends against the forking square. Bobby goes in anyway. We get takes and takes. And then c5. But this is just a blunder, ladies and gentlemen. And we can see how the position is basically falling apart. Because this just gives away another pawn hitting the queen. We get queen to c6. Putting pressure on the other pawn. Bobby pushes. And then we get rook to b8. So putting pressure on the b file bobby then goes takes we get takes and then bobby again just blockading the pawn as well as supporting the bishop which was undefended we get a rook to b7 a rook e1 so putting the rook on an open file h5 h4 just blocking the pawns on the king side rook to d7 aligning with the king and we get this crazy move Bobby coming in with a rook to e8, pinning the bishop, and it's here where the trouble is basically just unbearable to a large extent. We get queen to c7 from Gary, and now we get this crazy bishop to e7. You can't take the bishop because then you just get mated. So what we got in the game was f6, and Bobby takes and... Uh, Gary just resigned in this position because it's just mating three, whatever he does.